Security Now Illustrated by AskMrWizard.com Illustrating concepts, mechanisms, and algorithms from the amazing Security Now podcast by Steve Gibson and Leo Laporte. This is episode 25, How the Internet Works, part 1. Security Now episode 25, from February 2006, commenced Steve Gibson's classic two-part series entitled How the Internet Works, which is continued in episode 26. The numbered segments of this episode of Security Now Illustrated will help you to visualize the following seven concepts from Steve's audio podcast. Segment 1, Packet Switching. Segment 2, IP Packet Version Number Field and IP Versions 4 and 6. Segment 3, the IP Packet Address Fields. Segment 4, IP Packet Protocol Field. Segment 5 has the IP Packet Time to Live Field. Segment 6 covers the ICMP Protocol and the well-known Traceroute application. And Segment 7 discusses Internet Routing. To help set the scene for the segments to follow, Steve and Leo mused about the history of communicating technologies contrasting the circuit-oriented old telephone system with the packet-switched internet. As you can see in this diagram showing a vastly simplified circuit-switched model of a telephone network with just six phones, a circuit-switched network starts out very simple. When just one neighbor wants to communicate with just one other, a single interconnection is all that's needed. But when he wants to speak with another neighbor too, a second interconnection must be added. And if he wants to speak with all of his neighbors, it becomes necessary to string wires from his house to all of the others in the network. When another neighbor becomes equally ambitious, another set of wires must be added, leading from his house to everybody else, and so on. Ultimately, Every circuit-switched network must collapse of its own weight due to the physical impossibility of stringing interconnections from everywhere to everywhere. Now, let's contrast that with the well-known telegraph system that was deployed across North America back in the 19th century. Telegraph circuits were shared among telegraph offices in cities across the land. When a telegrapher sent a message, he commenced each transmission with the address of the destination telegraph office. And although the operators in other cities could hear the clacking of the telegraph sounder, they learned to simply ignore the transmissions addressed to others. Stephen Leo spent some time admiring the foresight of the original designers of the Internet who, back in the 1960s, improved on the telegraph model by mandating that all Internet messages be divided up into standardized packets, each formatted according to rigid protocol conventions while allowing almost unlimited evolution due to the flexibility of the original packet formats. And so it's it's really something of a miracle that that something that was designed so opportunistically 20 years ago, um, even a little more than that actually, has survived as well as it has. Isn't that cool? It's I, I really like the elegance of the solution. And I is it how much of it is planned ahead? How much of it is in response to problems as they come up? That that's one of the things that is shocking is that so much of this was done right the first time. I mean, even though these guys had no idea where this was headed. I mean, you know, 25 years ago, you couldn't have imagined this. And, you know, even so, they laid down these fundamental protocols and got it right the first time. To see the other segments and related resources for this episode, please join us at AskMrWizard.com. Select Security Now from the prominent section index at the top of the homepage. Choose an episode from the index at the bottom and then select a segment from the resulting page. The original, audio-only version of this podcast can be found on the Gibson Research Corporation site at grc.com slash security now. This clip illustrates some of the highlights from that show. 
This video clip comes from a large collection of related clips. All are indexed and easy to find at www.askmrwizard.com, along with related items, text articles, illustrations, and forums. Please visit us today. We appreciate your support. Thank you.